There is an arms race in the AI tool space for academics and researchers, and I have been following it closely. I am amazed at what people have been able to do in such a short period of time, and here are the best ones. The first one I want to talk about is Sight. Now, I saw Sight um, probably a couple years ago, but they've really come on leaps and bounds with their assistant. Their assistant by Sight is really just quite something else. It can do a number of things, so such as ask simple questions, start a draft of an essay, grant, or paragraph, and you can use information from research articles to support your research tasks. So it's got loads of prompts here. I'll let you go and view some of them, but let's click on one that I think is particularly kind of uh, uh, powerful, and that's write a grant proposing to explore how this. Anyway, so if you click on this, oh, you must log in. That's a shame. All right, I'll log in. Okay, let's try assistant again. Here we go. Oh, all right. Here goes my credit card details. I'm in. So let's click on here. I am writing a grant to explore how that affects chromosome missegregation and outline three specific aims. I assume the reason it's taking so long is that it's going and looking for references, it's going and analyzing documents, it's really sort of like looking across multiple things and bringing it together into a grant proposal. This is what it's done. Okay, it's gone out, it's found real references, great, and it's uh, looked at a grant proposal. So specific aim one, specific aim two, specific aim three. So as you can see, it's referenced uh, seven references, I think. So you can go away and have a look and sort of use this um, as a starting point for grants, which I think is incredible. Let's have a look and ask specifically for me. Which was my uh, area of research. So let's have a look to see what it does. I assume we're in for a bit of a wait again. We'll just wait again. No worries. We'll just chill. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's given us 10 references. And, you know, I think this is probably a good start. One thing I always find with these kind of uh, generated literature reviews is they're not very long, but it may help you in starting and it certainly takes away that grunt work from um, just thinking about how to structure your work. For that simple prompt, it's probably done a really good job. And then you just need to be more sort of uh, uh, specific about what you want when you are asking this AI to do stuff. So I could potentially ask it to, um, you know, create a 500 word literature review, getting so many references in a certain field, um, in a certain subfield, in um, a certain year. Maybe that's a way to direct this better, but go and play about with it and let me know what you find out in the comments. The next one I want you to know about is Jenny AI. Now on the front page, it doesn't look like it's really useful for academics. And I think that's probably where they could market it a little bit better for academics. But ultimately, when you log in, you get a real good idea of how this is quite powerful. Sight is like a one button, one prompt uh, solution. I think that this is a really fantastic way of um, being in the driver's seat with AI. It can help you formulate documents, it can help you reference, it can help you find things all very, very easily. I'll give you a little bit of a demo. So here, I want to write the current um, advancements in organic photovoltaic devices. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's start writing and see organic photovoltaic advancements. Okay, here we go. One thing I love about this is that you are in the driving seat, like I said. It will just continue to write and write and write and uh, it will not stop, essentially. So accept that and then if I want something else, um, I just need to wait and it will pop up. And so I can accept that. And if I want um, a particular reference added, all you have to do, let's accept that, all I have to do is put at, and then it will go away to site and have a look at different references that I can include. So um, I can just say add that as citation, and you can see here 
that uh, in the content settings, you have lots of opportunities. I went to academic, you've got citation styles. So overall, this is a really good way to have AI work with you to create um, text. And it's got a load of important features, like I, you know, I can just accept that. Okay, that's great. Um, I'll just let it generate the next thing. And so I'm checking, I'm working with it. Another really important thing is Jenny uh, help or ask Jenny on the side here. And so create section subheadings. Let's see what it can do about section subheadings. So here, all I've done is clicked one button. And this is now, like I said, you just kind of like working with the uh, with the machine, with the AI. So let's turn that into a heading. Um, introduction, what, or, what are organic photovoltaic devices? And let's see if it understands that I want to write about that. So you can see, yeah, it's just started helping me write. So it knows what I want to write, it's spilling it out. And with these simple chats and this chat over here that asked Jenny, um, it is just going to be a really powerful way of um, creating academic pieces of work. And I've been speaking to the um, CEO of this company, and he says they're also going to include support for Mendeley and for Zotero and other referencing stuff. So watch this space. This could be the way of the future for writing academically. Something that I purchased really recently is Hey GPT. And the reason I did that is because it allows you to have chat on files, on websites, and it connects GPT, chat GPT to the internet. And the way you can do that is if we go up to new chat up here, you can connect it to uh, websites, to your files, to Google, and then there's other stuff coming soon. The reason I paid for it is because it was a really low cost uh, lifetime subscription and they are developing a load of really cool tools that have come out soon. But essentially, let's have a look here. I want to chat with my files. So here I've uploaded my two um, papers, vertical stratification and interfacial structure, blah, 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 and a multi-layered approach to polyfluorine water-based organic photovoltaics. I'll click there, I'll say apply, and then uh, down here, I can see that I'm chatting with my two files. Create a outline of the science attached. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, it's taken straight from the files and you can see here where it's kind of taken stuff from. Um, and being able to chat with PDFs I think as a scientist is really valuable. Let's have a go at another chat where we're just speaking to one file and see if it can do it a little bit better. So we're gonna apply with that. Um, let's just deactivate it and reselect files. Select files, Up. Oh, no, I don't wanna upload files. I want to select this one and apply and use. And then uh, here I'm chatting with one file, that's great. Um, uh, what are the main uh, important findings in the study. Discusses the nano fabrication of a multi-layered device architecture from one one blends polymers using mini emulsion techniques. The findings include the characterization by dynamic light scattering, transmission, and TEM. Uh, so overall, you can see that now you can actually chat to your PDF document. And the reason I like this is because also, you can chat to websites. So if you go to find yourself, let's go to uh, Scholar, and let's see if we can find a HTML document. Let's say you've got something like this. So I want to actually chat with that file. So I'm gonna select websites. I'm gonna say, uh, select the website. I'm gonna say claw, crawl, God, Jesus. And then it says it's gonna take me uh, that many tokens um, and okay, so it's gonna cost me that amount of money, which is fine. And then we're gonna say apply, use. Okay, a little bit clunky, but here I'm just gonna ask. Um, summarize the main findings. All right, overall, you can see I've put in a website, I've put in a PDF. It is a really easy way to chat with multiple things PDFs, websites, um, you can also go to Google and ask it to get stuff. 
Uh, so overall, I think Hey Chat GP is going to be an incredible way for academics to chat easily with multiple things from different sources in one place. Keep an eye on Hey GPT. The last thing I think you should be aware of are agents. Agents are essentially AI that can spawn other tasks and other AI agents to come together to sort of work towards a common goal. Now you can access that in a couple of ways. I've uh, downloaded um, AutoGPT and so when you load it up, um, enter your AI agents, so let's say science agent, and then you have to say uh, what your role is. So to help me with science and then tasks. The first thing is to go and uh, collect information about science studies of uh, elephants and then uh, put the details in a text document and then uh, that's all I want so and then um, terminate let's see what it does. And so this is a way of essentially automating loads of chat GPT agents to go away. Now you do have to have an API. So um, it can cost a lot of money if you let it just sort of like continuously go out and search the internet. But here we can see it says, I think the best way to start collecting information about science studies is to do a Google search. Okay, and I will say yes, you go do that. I will say yes, and it will go away and it will do stuff. The one thing I found about this is that it's not super useful at the moment because it gets itself stuck in lots of little loops. But overall, I feel like uh, this is the beginning stages of something that could be very, very powerful. And as soon as it becomes powerful and useful for academics, I'll be sure to tell you. So that's why you should subscribe. We'll leave that running, but if you do want to just do this without having to download Python code and try it out for yourself, there is Agent GPT. Agent GPT is in beta version, but it's essentially how to use agents um, in the browser. But it is something that I was addicted to kind of like playing with, and uh, I think it could potentially be useful for academia in the future, but not right now. So there we have it. There are the most exciting advances in AI tools for academics that I have found and you could use right now. Let me know in the comments if you have found other ones that are just as impressive or more impressive. I'd love to try them out. And there are more ways that you can engage with me. The first way is to sign up to my newsletter. Head over to andrewstoughton.com.au forward slash newsletter. The link is in the description. When you sign up, you'll get five emails over about two weeks. Everything from the tools I've used, the podcast I've been on, how to at the perfect abstract and more. It's exclusive content available for free, so go sign up now. Also, head over to academiainsider.com. That's where I've got my ebooks, I've got my uh, resource pack, and also I've got a blog and a forum. It's really helpful. It's growing out to be an awesome place to help you in academia and with your PhD. And I'll see you in the next video.